This program is brought to you by the University of California, Davis on iTunes U. For more information, please visit us at itunes.ucdavis.edu. Okay, so now we'll move on to Walther's Law. As I stated at the beginning, Walther's Law connects the distribution of depositional environments in space to the way they're represented in rocks vertically or through time. So the main idea is that if you have a distribution of environments, here, I feel like going to the beach, so we have the ocean, and out here we get structures created by waves, and I'll give them a peak symbol like this. Um, on the beach, we end up with layers that are parallel to the, the beach surface. And then back here, we might have some, some sand dunes. So here, in a, across over a small area, we have three different depositional environments. The environment that's always underwater, the beach environment where the waves swash back and forth, and then a dune environment that's affected by wind. Now, the idea of Walther's Law is that you can take this distribution of environments and predict what would happen as they shift in space. So we have sea level rising. So when sea level goes up, it's quite clear that the beach environment here shifts in, inland to here. So on top we have the new beach, and the new beach would be sitting on top of the sand dunes if they don't erode away. Here we have the ocean, where we have these wave ripple deposits, and that moves to this area over here as sea level goes up. Then here we have dunes. And if sea level, if this area ended up being filled in with something else here, we might end up with new dunes here. It depends on the details. So if I was going to look at the succession of rock types, they were accumulating sediment and it's turning into rock. If I look at the successions of rock types here, we start off with a beach and then on top of that, you'd have deposits similar to those in the open ocean. So we start out with layers like this. If we're accumulating sediments, so our new sedimentary surface is here, I'm going to erase the old sea level here. The deposits in here will have the wave ripple characteristics, and the deposits here will have the beach characteristics. So if you look vertically in space, and vertically in a rock section, you're going from beach to ocean deposits. At any one time, if you go laterally, you go from beach to ocean deposits. So the basic idea of Walther's Law is you can look at a vertical sequence of rocks, interpret their environments, and and make the uh, reasonable assumption that those environments used to be next to each other in space. So that's the, the basic concept of Walther's Law, and we will be using it throughout the quarter, and you will throughout your geological careers. Uh, it's, a, it's a very uh, simple but strong concept about how you can use sedimentary rocks to interpret ancient environments. There are, of course, some caveats to it, if you actually don't deposit rocks in a certain environment, it won't be represented. And so we say that the, the Walther's Law works very well unless you have erosion or an unconformity within the section. And we'll talk more about that um, throughout the quarter. So I hope that um, this short video helps you understand the four key concepts of uniformitarianism, original horizontality, the fact that Younger rocks overlie older rocks, unless they're tectonically altered. 
and the basic idea of Wolf is Law. Thanks for watching. The preceding program was brought to you by UC Davis on iTunes U. Please visit us at itunes.ucdavis.edu.